Hi guys, it's Valencia here again for another video of Long of Me. Why do I say that all the time? Today is the Lancia Tuesday, and in this video, I'm gonna show you ways to kill airplanes. Wait, what? Okay, the cats are going crazy. You should keep quiet, you and your sister. I'm trying to make a video here. Hey, little girl, I'm, I'm talking to you. You should behave. Poppy is making a video. Where was I? Well, I'm not actually teaching you to kill airplanes. On the contrary, I'm actually showing you what to avoid in order not to kill airplanes. If you know what I mean. Airplanes are very forgiving. But if you're not gonna take care of them properly, they're gonna eventually die, like any other plants do when you don't take care of them. I'm gonna be talking about my experience in taking care of airplanes, and frankly speaking, I have killed a lot of airplanes already. I know, it's terrible. It's always a learning process. And that's why I'm sharing to you this information so that you'd be able to avoid them yourself. So if you don't know this already, you can also use fertilizers in taking care of your air plants. That would make them grow faster and would help encourage blooming. Too much of something is bad enough. But too much fertilizer, of course, can kill your air plants. There's what we call a fertilizer burn. This actually happened to my air plants. The one of the mistakes that I made was soaking my air plants in water mixed with fertilizer. I used liquid fertilizer and then I mixed it with water where I soak my air plants in. It's not actually wrong to do that, but I did it for so long and the, the amount of fertilizer that I put in the water was a bit too much. Okay, the ones that got affected really bad by the fertilizer burn were my Atalantia funkianas. So here they are, see? It's already forming a clump. This one got separated. This is the mother plant right here. And this one used to be connected here. Okay, they were forming a clump that actually it's actually growing quite faster than the other talanches that I have. See, there are still pups here. They're not actually dead. Oh, thank God. Okay, as you can see, the leaves are not normally of this color. As you can see, it looks like they've dried up. That's what you call fertilizer burn. It's either bright yellow, they're dark. It's like they dried up so badly. Okay, that is caused by the fertilizer, like what I mentioned to you guys. But as you can see here in the center, there are still green parts. So there are still a lot of green tissue at the center. So that means that this plant is still alive. And another proof that it's still alive is this one. Look. Here, there's a... Um, there's a small little pup here that's starting to grow there below. So that means that this plant is actually still alive. I keep on repeating that because I feel so lucky that they're still alive, but they don't really look that bad actually. It's like, it looks kind of cool, but you know, some people might think they look dead, but they're actually not dead. Um, they're still living, and as you can see there, it's starting to, the fertilizer burn thing happened like a few months ago. So as you can see here, it's starting to regain its green color on the leaves here, and you know when, when Tillanches um, bloom, they blush, they, they turn a bit red, bright red or pink before they actually give, give up flowers. In this case here, it's starting to show its red leaves again. Yeah, that makes me actually happy. As you can see, the flower is still there. This one, the flowers actually have already lasted for like, um, 
two months or so it's quite long soak them up to the level before the flower you know don't soak the entire plant with the flower on it because it's gonna it's gonna shorten the 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 life of the flower it's gonna rot the flower so fast it's best to just soak it until maybe up to here just enough not to wet the flower not to wet the flower that sounds so graphic not really necessary for you to fertilize air plants they don't really need that but if you want a faster growth or a, fa a faster bloom or if you want them to bloom faster yeah you can give them air plants but in moderation you can fertilize them like once a month Oh, the cats are going crazy. Just once a month, uh, fertilizing them once a month is enough. You can need, you can use a bromeliad fertilizer, or you can also use a telangia fertilizer. There's also fertilizers that are specific for telangias. So you can use that too, like twice a month if you want. But in my case, I haven't used any fertilizer since that fertilizer burn accident that I did because it's starting to freak me out. When I see that vitilanches are turning brown, I'm like, oh my God, I think it's happening again. I don't want that for the lesser burn to happen again. I know it was a mistake because I put in too much amount of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, but just to avoid that from happening again, I'm not using it again. Okay, the fertilizer that I used was a bromeliad liquid fertilizer. So I don't know, I haven't tried the Telancha fertilizer yet. It actually usually comes in a spray bottle. I haven't used that yet, maybe someday, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, another way to kill your air plant is, you know, the most common way to kill it is through rot plant rot i'm so sorry for the noise in the background my cats are going crazy please remember after watering your air plants or after soaking them or giving them a bath you should shake them out well enough to shake out excess water of the plants because if not it's gonna cause rot so these are my plants that died from rot this one as you can see the leaves are coming off this is actually a Tilantia ayunantha you see the base and the center are already turning black it's dark that it's what happens when um, an air plant started, starts to rot. The center gets dark and you really can't save it anymore when it starts rotting. And if you're gonna try to pull out the leaves, it just comes right off. If you try to pull out dried leaves from your air plants and it's not coming off easily, that means it's still, it's still okay. You know, this one is a Tilanche Caput Medusae. As you can see the base, the leaves at the base are also very dry. Okay, this one, this one is caused by dehydration. Okay, this one, this is also a Tilanche Caput Medusae. I tried saving this plant before I trimmed off or took off the dried leaves at the base, hoping that it'll save it. And as you can see, the, the leaves at the center are brown and crispy. It, it was actually growing. The, the leaves at the center were actually growing, but it doesn't look so normal. It, it was still, it's still very brown, but it's still, um, it still kept on growing. As you can see at the center there, it's dark. It's still dark and wet. You know that an air plant is dying from rot because if you start peeling off the dried leaves or the dead leaves from the base, the leaves are kind of going to come right off easily until you get into the center of the plant. 
that's why you cannot really save it when it starts to rot because the rot starts from the very center of the plant and that would make it not hold the leaves anymore and it's just gonna fall right off it's gonna fall apart so it's gonna look something like this this actually made my eyes water while it was while I was doing this this was one of the first air plants that I've got and it made me very sad to see this Okay, so this was the tonight chick I put me to say a while ago that it showed you. I tried peeling off the, the dried leaves from outside, and this is what I got. As you can see, this only proves that it didn't die of dehydration. It actually is dying of rot. As you can see here at the base, at the very base, it's wet and it actually smells really bad you guys it smells like rot it really smells like death no seriously so if you're gonna peel this off it's just gonna take you to the very center so this is it this is the very center of the plant as you can see there's no way to save this plant anymore because the very center is already dead it's dead inside so to speak so if you're just gonna let it it's actually not living so if I'm gonna peel this off it's it's just gonna be the same thing even though as you can see the the leaf at the center is quite green and bright but the small leaf that's growing at the you know the side of the it's growing the, the leaves the tips of the leaves are quite healthy they're quite green and bright green but the base is already dying so it's running from the center so it's not holding the leaves anymore so it will just eventually die anyway so yeah that's it so to avoid this, remember that you have to make sure that the air plants are... Just remember to dry your air plants at the maximum of four hours after giving them a bath or soaking them to avoid this catastrophe. Hey guys, so that's it. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again next Tuesday for another Tulancia Tuesday. And if you want to see other videos other than the Tulancia series, you can watch my other videos on Sundays. So, yeah, I'm starting to upload more videos than I usually do. So, I'm trying to, I'm trying my best to upload them twice a week now. So, hope you'll stay in touch you can put your comments below if you have any questions or suggestions or anything that you'd like to share about your Tulancha experience i'd be happy to reply to them and thank you very much again i hope you subscribe if you haven't yet and like the video if you do like it so bye guys